side. War is going to take place in the Gobi Desert. It's in a blown up nuclear fusion facility. It's going to have three very distinct lanes that you can take advantage of. In the center of the map is going to be your very chaotic close quarters combat. There's also the map based streak, which is the decontamination drone. They're going to pop out and go attack the nearest enemies. That is right, y'all. We are going to be reviewing the map core. TDM for the new Havoc DLC map. So, we're going to be reviewing this map in three different categories. Map design, creativity, how the map is made, how the structures are, how the lighting is, and if it fits the best map. And the second one being objective spots and um, tips and tricks. So, where you want to be when you're playing uh, Domination, Hardpoint, Uplink, Search and Destroy, and etc. And the last but not least category is player movement within the map. And uh, that's going to be a major role in the game. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, map design. This map on the left side of the map, it is very, very open. It has a lot of buildings. This is going to give you an advantage to take cover if you are hurt in a gunfight. Or if you just plain need to get some long shots uh, I do like how they made that little design it's a very uh, desert type map has a lot on the has a lot of buildings on the left side but on the right side what it's gonna have is it's gonna have a very open but this time it's only gonna have like one building so you can see everything so right here you can get a long shot long shot or pick up a quick kill but do keep in mind if you do camp right here on this thing, you're very vulnerable to a player like that right there or in back of you. So that's just going to be the downside of that camping there or taking cover. There are two drainage pipes there, uh, obviously leaving to the same way, which is the main and most anticipated part of the map. There's going to be a lot of people here. If you're playing Domination, there's a lot of people around here. So this map is very uh, crazy when it comes to domination and hard point because people are going to be trying to move everywhere trying to get in your face this side is very uh very tropical like has very low jungles we are going to be camping on the floor like that keep that in mind so for the bases um base design for the uh, map design and creativity i'm going to have to give it a 10 i really like how it's bright you can see your enemies very well just the only bad thing about this is that if you are on the left side of the map or whichever perspective you are you are going to be able to camp very good on this side of the map which some players do not like including me so yeah let's move on to the objective spots and places you want to be when you're playing hardpoint so when you're playing hardpoint or domination obviously there's going to be a flag right there or hardpoint is going to be a fl um, objective to catch in the middle of the map so what you want to do is go ahead and head over here be careful when you're in these drainage pipes uh, obviously there's one on that side and there's two over here so you want to put down an explosive um, lethal grenade or whatever you want to use it and put it right there if you are going to be camping or taking cover or trying to capture or defend um, I do do not, I really do not recommend you staying in this spot as you are very vulnerable to everything if you are on this side you want to take cover on, on these and as if you've seen in the beginning of the video uh, these little drop pod things, when you activate it with a care package, they do um, come out and they do strike. They are most likely like assault drones. They will kill your enemy that you're shooting at, but you have to time it right and be smart on when you use it and how you use it. So yeah, that's just for the objective. When you're playing objectives, it, obviously there's going to be uh, a hard point. There's going to be one right here and most likely one around right here. So you want to take cover. This is for the sniper side. People are going to be having it in. Um, a good vantage point right here you can see the whole courtyard over here but you are vulnerable on this side and this side so this side of the map is um yes it does have a lot of buildings you can take cover and kind of camp but it's not going to be a permanent spot where you want to be to rack up some points this map is very uh close mid-range so you want to keep on moving you don't want to just stop and camp a lot because you won't pick up your score streaks and it's going to take longer and you will most likely die so for the objective spots and uh, 
and uh, where you want to be. I will have to give this one. Sorry for that. We had a little bit of lag, but we are back and we are rocking it back. So like I was saying, uh, I give it a four for the objective spots, not only because it's okay, but I feel like this map is not very popular. And it um, most likely when you're trying to look for it on multiplayer, people are going to not want to vote this map. I'm not putting this map down, but it is. I like it how they made the design. Don't get me wrong. The very cool a uh, little um, little mine shaft right here whatever you want to call it it's very cool but it's not really good if you want to be using an assault rifle or a sniper this map's just not really going to help you out because there's so many people uh, they're going to be in your faces you're going to be using shotguns they will most likely smog trap you snipers are going to be able to be camping but most likely they won't get a lot of kills so this map's not going to be very helpful to most players so so far we have 14 points 10 was for the map design because i really like it the map is very bright we're going to our last category we want to get 30 points one being the worst 30 being the best so for the so for the player movement within the map and the boundaries of this map uh, most most likely where i am right now is going to be the m most centralized area you're going to be having people coming from here here and here and here so everywhere everywhere you want to keep on moving don't just stop and drop shot right here and then keep on camping no there's gonna be keep people like that shooting you every single direction you want to keep on moving if you are using an smg i do recommend you drop shot and if you don't know what drop shotting is it's when you shoot and then you go like that or you want to keep on moving your enemy around with your exo ability so just keep on moving a lot around confuse your enemy if you're using smgs if you're using a sniper keep in mind you do have to be very experienced level to be uh, on this one if you're not uh, you will be uh, killed by shotgunners most likely or smgs this is a perfect map when you're playing domination like i said or if you're trying to get up in their face you can sneak up and attack right there or if you're trying to escape you can go right here so most players are going to be on this map if they're snipers because you can get a vantage point right here right there right there and SMGs are going to be in this area, and I can guarantee you there's going to be one camper right here just wiping out everyone, or there's going to be one that's going to just keep on getting kills from right there. So, yeah, and on the left side of the map over here, there is going to be some people, not going to see a lot of them, camping on this uh, top pillar. This top pillar is going to give you a vantage point to see across and wide throughout the map, but it's not going to be very helpful if you're camping the whole time and trying to uh, pick up a quick kill. So that's not going to be very helpful. So you just want to keep that in mind that over here, you want to keep on moving. And be aware that when people are over here, this terrain's very uh, like uh, tree-like. It's very green, so people are going to be camping down and trying to kill you. So just keep in mind, keep your eye open, and keep on moving. So for the player movement within the map and the boundaries, I'm going to have to give this one a... 8 is very good I would give it a 10 but it's just gonna be a lot of campers in this map a lot of people getting your faces and you most likely are not gonna get a whole lot of score streaks if you're staying in one area which is uh, really bad and even if you don't move there's gonna be a lot of people everywhere so yeah so far we have 22 points out of 30 not that bad not that good it's just right but for this map, it's not very popular in the Call of Duty community. Most people dislike it. Me, myself, it's an okay map. Wouldn't really recommend uh, new players to play on this map. It's a very advanced level and very uh, a lot of people for noobs. So, yeah, this map's very uh, very crazy when it comes to people sniping. There's going to be a whole bunch of sniper fire on this side. So, if you like this video, go ahead and like and share it. If you want other people to see it, this is uh, the ending of the Havoc DLC series that I was doing on the map review. Um, I will be making more videos on uh, weapons, reviewing other things on Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, and also GTA 5 is coming soon. I will be making more updated videos. Clash of Clans and Boom Beach is coming soon as well. So don't forget to subscribe and you do not want to miss out. So comment for video for the suggestions, and this has been your host Super Ninja 82. Full sign.